If Sophia wants to patrol her kingdom, she must select the right pony. There are many ponies to choose from, so what pony should she pick? Let's learn about ponies so that we can help Sophia select one. Before we get started, remember to give Sophia a like. A like will ensure more pony adventures with Sophia. The first pony that Sophia could consider is the Shetland pony. This is one of the smallest ponies around. It can only grow to be 40 inches tall. Because of this, Shetland ponies are great for small children like Sophia. A Shetland pony is easy to identify. For starters, it has very short legs and a thick coat. If Sophia selects this horse, she will have to brush its coat and its tail regularly. Next up is the Welsh pony. This pony will be great for Sophia because it's a British pony. If Sophia ever had to go to a ball, a Welsh pony can get her there quick because it's fast. The Welsh pony is not like the Shetland because it has a short back, sloped shoulders, and a solid coat. The Fell pony is from England. If Sophia picks this pony, she could be a Viking because this pony was popular during the age of the Vikings. When the Vikings needed to transport items to different destinations, they used a fell pony like a truck. Sophia probably does not need a pony like this. When it comes to elegance, a hackney pony stands out. This pony is fancy. It's so fancy, it would probably drink tea with Sophia. One of the best things about this pony is its ability to strut. If you put it on a stage, it will trot like a celebrity. Unlike previous ponies, the hackney pony has great endurance. This means that it will not get tried easily during a long road trip with Sophia to Disney World. Most ponies can be easily trained. However, the Exmoor pony does not want to hear this. It's a wild pony. It likes to roam in forests in England. If Sophia is able to catch one of these ponies, she will have to take it to school because it will need to learn some manners. An Exmoor pony that graduates can serve a princess like Sophia. The Dartmoor pony is another pony that Sophia should consider. It's not wild, it has alert ears, and it's great for kids. This is a good thing because a pony that likes kids and has alert ears can easily sense problems in Sophia's kingdom. A Dartmoor pony can help Sophia protect her kingdom, and it can go to the ball with Sophia because it has a lush, thick mane and tail that Sophia can style with the latest pony beauty products. A Connemara pony is worth considering for a few reasons. First, it's great for kids and teens. Also, it can transport Sophia to different towns. This particular pony stands out because its coat comes in a wide range of colors like a rainbow. However, Sophia should not try to taste the rainbow like a bag of Skittles. If Sophia does not select a Connemara pony, there is another great option. It's the Wallara pony. This pony is not a very common pony, but it's worth considering because it just stands out. It has features like a Welsh pony and an Arabian horse. If Sophia needs a pony that's easy to train, this pony is a great choice. The Wallara pony likes to jump over obstacles, so it can help Sophia wow a crowd. Some ponies are not from England. If Sophia wants a unique pony, she should check out the American Quarter Pony. No, this pony does not like quarters, quarterbacks, or quarter pounders with cheese. The American Quarter Pony is not too big, it's easy to train, and it does not make a lot of noise. A pony that stays quiet is excellent for a princess. If Sophia picks this pony and makes new laws, it will always listen and follow her directions. The final pony that Sophia should consider is the American Sport Pony. This pony does not play sports, so don't call a coach. Sophia will not need a coach to identify this pony because it does not look like a pony. If she finds one of these ponies in the wild, she would not believe that it's a pony. From a distance, an American sport pony looks look a horse. Now that we checked out all of the ponies, it's time for Sophia to pick one that suits her needs. If she wants a pony that's easy to train, a Shetland pony is a great choice. An American sport pony is also worth considering because it will learn the ropes very quickly. Well, Sophia will just spend time with all of the horses, and when she is done, she will pick the best one. If you could select a pony, what pony would you select? That's all for now. If you like this guide and you want guides that feature ponies and Sophia the first, like, share, and subscribe.